Well, we knew it was coming sooner or later. After the NBA Finals is done wrapped up, shout out to the Denver Nuggets for winning. Jokic, definitely the real MVP. Joel Embiid, give that shit back, but that's for a different time. Not what we're talking about right now. But as you already know, it's David with the three-man lineup. You can hit us with a like, subscribe, share this with everybody you know. I greatly appreciate that. <clears throat> but today, John Morant has been hit with a 25-game suspension from the NBA. Um, some people say it's too much. Some people say it's not enough. But for me, I, I think for what is going on with him, I, I think it's probably just about right. Now, there's been multiple, multiple, well, actually, right, there's been two videos of him with a gun. Now, I have no problems with guns. Guns don't kill people. People kill people. So I don't see a problem with that. But when you talk about, you know, being the face, somewhat of the face, well, at least the face of an NBA team, you're also the somewhat the face of the NBA for a lot of the younger generation. You kind of have to walk in a certain way you have to walk in a certain manner and that's what i think he he didn't really understand he didn't he still doesn't understand and after you know his um you know he, he obviously made comments about it today but um after his first incident you know at um the strip club in denver i don't really think like i don't understand how you can be put in that position have the nba commissioner talk to you you say yeah i know what i did wrong i'm gonna do better and then you do the same thing i guess not as bad but i think it was just the fact that it was still with a gun so um, I actually was watching. Um, I was watching some of the sports radio. Actually, obviously, everybody knows if you watched my last video, Undisputed's over. So obviously, my number two show has been uh, First Things First. Uh, way even way back in the day, it was always my number two show. You, I liked it even when they had Jenna on. Um, but I, I saw Chris Broussard, and I like a lot of the stuff he says. I think he's a uh, probably one of the more well-respected NBA brights. Definitely a goat in that sense. I don't think he gets a lot of respect in the. Uh, in, in in the soul and i guess in like the, the esp you know like the the analyst analyst world but i always like hearing what he has to say and him on the odd couple is always great so i'm working to see what he has to say ja was like released the statement as you showed saying he's going to take these 25 games and make himself a better man mm -hmm. look he is in a position where he's got to prove it We've talked about this all season long with basketball, with the Sixers, with the Nuggets. Yep. Ja has already apologized once That's and right. then backtracked and done the same thing. He has to prove to us that he has learned his lesson. There's nothing he can really do in this offseason during this suspension that's going to make us say, oh, okay, he, he's learned his lesson. We thought that before. I thought when we were watching him in the playoffs that, okay, he put that behind him, he's going to be fine. Obviously, that wasn't the case. I would like to see a few things like not drinking, you know, guzzling alcohol on social media, uh, obviously not playing with guns on social media or period. All right. He doesn't need a gun. You, you can have bodyguards if he feels like he's in danger, whatever. But I think that, you know, what I want and what's you guys know, I've said this from day one. I'm concerned with him using language like even going back to the first incident. I'm stressed. I'm feeling pressure. I got to learn how to deal with this. His statement today, I'm going to work on my mental health. So take this time to get yourself right mentally, get your life in order, and then come back. Look, America, as I said yesterday, yep. loves a comeback story. Sure. He can do everything he wants to do in his career still, but you have to learn from this. And last thing to T. Morant, I would like to see T give off more vibes of than a father an authority figure versus one of his partners. Okay, so cool. I, I'd like to see that at games. Too. All right, yeah. So we had we heard what uh, Chris had to say. He had to say some great things. I want to go back to what the last thing he said. Kind of like the, the number one thing for me is like having T. Morant be more of a father figure than like his one of his partners as he likes to say oh as chris said and i think that's like huge because when you have that weird dynamic between a father and son when the father is financially dependent on the son it can kind of get skewed of the father's still there to to guide you through no matter how much more money you make i mean i experience is experience and uh maybe he can teach you some things he can still teach him some things so th that was a huge thing and he and another thing that I, I, I hate bringing up, but I, I hate when people try, and I don't know, I, I, I don't know, like mental health is a legitimate thing and, you know, stress is a legitimate thing, 
but Ja has been playing basketball for how long? He's been in the league for how long? You've been the face of your team for how long? Like, I don't understand, like, from what I've understood about his upcoming into the NBA and even into college, I don't understand how he has, has he always dealt with pressure like this? Has he always made videos of him, you know, listening to NBA Youngboy and, and, and flashing guns? And it, this seems to be a new thing. So I don't really want to sit here and say like, oh yeah, you know, it's all about mental health because clearly he, he tried to pull that the first time and, uh, you know, clearly it didn't, he was lying. So, you know, you can only use the mental health excuse so many times to where I want to call bullshit. And in today's day and age, everybody's dealing with mental health and some is real and some is fake. And it's hard to, to skew the lines. If he is dealing with mental health, I figured he would have get it, you know, got done the first time because he went to that retreat for three days and he left and he said, I'm good. I'm a new person. Even after they completely flopped against the Lakers, he was like, yeah, he, he put some of the weight on himself. He was like, I got to make better decision decisions outside and, you know, represent myself better as a man and then of course this comes out and it's like at least we didn't get a get a chat gbt response this time i'm gonna somewhere or another i'll put up his response or i might have it like running concurrently with the video but that's where i'm kind of that's where i'm not really as open to be like okay well jaw just needs to get help because the first time everybody was on the side you know everybody was you know jaw just needs to get some help he needs to go get some help and then when everybody kind of saw that he wasn't taking it that serious then people were calling bullshit like parents were saying oh i'm not gonna let my kid play in you know john moran like in his shoes or whatever but apparently his shoes still sold well so you know and i, I know he did the whole cryptic message thing but you know like that's if it, I, my thing is it's like if it was that serious would he would we be knowing about it you know and i guess like you know the whole wellness check thing like of course you'd want you know people to check in on that but <laughs> I, I just it makes me really I'm like it's tough and I don't I, I want to call bullshit but hey I, I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt but see you know what here's one of those things where he you, you fool me once shame on you fool me twice I don't know I don't know chief so you know, that, that, that's pretty much it and like 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 I hope he takes these 25 games work works on his game and that's that's kind of what he needs to do they've wrote like they, they've written checks this year you know, especially the Grizzlies with the way they are. And, and it was mostly Dylan Brooks. Dylan Brooks is Dylan Brooks. It, it, it is blows my mind how some guys sneak their way in the NBA. And I saw him at Oregon and I knew he was I was like, how, how, you know, but hey, I, I am I, I am just a black guy in front of a webcam. So what do I know? But yeah, he, he work on your game, and he stepped his game up too. The whole like launching in the like if anybody saw the last series, how he was attacking the rim, when LeBron took a couple of charges. You know, he was he needs to be more controlled. He needs to he honestly he could probably take a thing or two away from LeBron. Like he needs to. I feel like maybe there's this this awkward gap between the new faces of the NBA and the old. Well, like maybe they don't feel like they have to talk to the old heads. And that's where like the one thing is where it's like experience is everything guy. I mean, you got, you got a guy like LeBron who's been in the league for 20 plus years and he's never had a, ne ne never a huge scandal, nothing like this. You know, he's never caught strip clubs with a ton of money everywhere. And then um, drinking excessively on camera, which, you know, once again, Ja, you either, all right, Ja, this is the way I look at it, because he is the face of the NBA, because at one point I want to say it's not a big deal. I mean, he's a 20-something-year-old kid, let him be a kid, but at the same time, if Ja wants to be just a kid, then he needs to go find just a regular-ass job. Let's switch jobs with me, guy, you know? So at the same time, I do get what Bruce is saying. I do. You can't be doing this shit. You, you just can't be doing it. You could go do that shit at home. And hey, the, the friend, the friend is who I have a real big problem because multiple people have been saying if you have a friend right who's going far like that who is legitimately he has his own shoe to know somebody who even has their own shoe and they're willing to fuck with you guy like there's so think about how many like people who know people who are in the nfl and they're like yeah i knew him you know we talked blah 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 but you know as they get higher and higher it's hard to keep in contact with people so imagine being in contact with somebody through their whole career right and then you are technically the sole reason his career is in jeopardy because either and I have a huge problem. You know, here's the funny thing is, you never know if the guns are registered. Where are the guns? Where the guns come from? That's my question. Because if the guns are not registered, the guns, if I can't tell where those guns are coming from, 
that's where I have a problem. I have a problem right there. It's all it's all done for me, John. But that's information we I'm not privy to. I don't think anybody has it. If you anybody has that information, leave that in the comment section below. But it's like I, I I'm so wishy washy with this. But hopefully he takes his 25 games, gets legitimate mental health, not a three day vacation in Florida. May it comes back, game strong, team chemistry strong. Dylan Brooks is out of there. I don't really think. I think the Grizzlies are going to have a new kind of tighten up the rings. I think because they were winning in the regular season, they were like, oh, well, let them be them. Because, you know, maybe the celebrating and the showboating is helping them play at a higher level. But then you had Dylan Brooks pushing the envelope. You pushed the envelope. But I don't even, that, that's kind of old news at this point. And if I really feel that angry, I'll, I'll make a whole video about that too. But thanks everybody for watching. It's David and it's been the three-man lineup. Peace.